Happy New Year! What's going on? It's a lot of fish and TV, and here today we are about to talk about the channel catfish. Now I know there's gonna be some people that want to object to what I'm saying, but who cares? This is my top five reasons why I like to fish with channel catfish. Alright, so before I go into like crazy details, and no, I'm not about to make this super science. We're going to do a little summary of what the channel catfish is. One, it is the smallest of the big three. And the big three are your blue cat, flathead, channel catfish. Now, yes, there's bullheads and other stuff. These channel catfish are the most distributed fish of the catfish family. And it's also the most caught of the catfish family. And that's just a little summary of what this is, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. In no specific order, number five, they're fun to catch. Now, no one really understands, and this is for those who don't go and target channel catfish, these fish are feisty and they are fun. They are really fun. Let's just say you like, okay, I'm gonna go out there and fish. Get your little night crawlers, throw the rod out, line out, hook, and boom, you just catching channel catfish after channel catfish. They are fun because they put up a nice, nice fight. I'm telling you this now, a lot of people undermine the fun that these fish are because you have some places where they just don't catch them enough. And then you have some of those that they catch them too much that they just don't want them anymore. But for me, I gotta keep my channel catfish. I gotta keep them because I know they're fun. They are fun to catch and they are one of those things that start people to fish, seriously. Number four, like I was saying in number five, the fight. Now, <laughs> just imagine a channel catfish being able to reach 60 pounds. If you haven't caught a 15 to 20 pound channel catfish yet, that fight is so underrated. They will fight to the death. I have caught flatheads 20, 30 plus pounds, and I have had a channel catfish that was 15 pounds, maybe 10, that will put up the same kind of fight because they are just mean and aggressive. Do not underestimate the fight of a channel catfish. This is why I love to fish for them. That's why it's number four, because that fight is so underrated. And a lot of people that do decide to fish for them, especially the ones that get decent size, like 10 plus, will understand exactly what I'm talking about when I say fight. Don't let a channel catfish ever reach 60 pounds. Woo! Number three, channel catfish are extremely abundant. Now, let's get this clear. If we speak in generally in the United States of America, channel catfish are super abundant. Now, you might have certain places that may be southern that they do have them, but not just that much. And then you got places like where I'm at in Ohio, uh, fishing the Maumee River adjacent to Lake Erie, where they are just so abundant that they can just grow and grow and grow and grow because they really don't have that much of competition other than the flathead. There are places like that where they can just grow, like Red River, for an example, man, they can catch them to 20 to 30 pounds kind of easy. And here where I fish at, you can literally catch them from 10, 20 plus. And if you never have any other fish to catch, you will still have that channel catfish out there. Like, we know how it is when we try to target something different and we try to do it very, you know, we try to do it so much that we're just not getting any luck. You always got that to just make up for the time you're not catching in between time. So if you're just looking for something to do and you just don't want to sit in the house, go chase after the channel catfish. They are abundant. They are there. And there's tons of them everywhere. Number two, they are perfect for beginners. Other than the bluegill, channel catfish is probably the best fish to get people started fishing. I mean, if you're talking about, like I said before, the abundance, the fun and the fight, and someone who doesn't fish much at all and you put them on a channel catfish, that will probably change their mind and their ideal of fishing. And even if they don't stick with the catfish or the channel catfish, that fight will make them want to just fish more. I'm telling you this now. I know because I'm a perfect prime example of it. As you can see, a lot of fish TV logo is a channel catfish in my hand. And that fish right there is the reason why a lot of fish in TV stands today. It is the number one fish that caused me to become who I am today on the social media. So like I said, if you're trying to get some friend out there who doesn't fish much, put them on a the channel catfish. 
that might change their whole perspective about fishing in general. Number one, table fare. Now there are lots of people that will eat them and there are many that won't. Now this is very subjective, it's all on you, but I'm one of the guys that like to eat channel catfish, right? And I feel like they are very good eating. And because they're so abundant, you always have a meal. Times I really like to target them in terms of table fare is spring and fall. Because cold water fish tend to have the best insides. In other words, their guts become a little cleaner, especially during the springtime when water melting and all the shad that froze over and died, that becomes their main diet. And cold water fish just seems to work. When the heat comes out, bait fish become scarce. And a lot of times, you gotta understand the fish, especially the channel catfish, they are opportunists. So then they become bottom dwellers solely just to make sure their stomachs are getting filled up. So that's why I say eating. Ain't nothing like a fried piece of crispy channel catfish. And the best size, in my humble opinion, is between two to four pounds. Three to be exact, like three pounds exact. Those are the size I like to target. I will go up to a five pounder, but never will I go over five pounds for a channel catfish, just me. So if you're one of them people that like to eat fish, Channel catfish is abundant, so it's easier to get on them. I wouldn't say eat it every single day, but you can tear up a nice fried piece of catfish. Channel catfish. So since we have talked about our top five or my top five reasons why I like the channel catfish, let me show you what I did in 2021. Another one on cut bluegill, look at that. Please come on the bank, please get me this fish. Man, listen. Man, listen. Look at that, right at the corner of his mouth. Let's look at this fish. Oh, boy. <laughs> look at that. I caught me a, I caught me a 14 pound channel cat. Let's get him out of here. A little bit of, there you go, there you go. Y'all, I got a my stir. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get in here, big dog! Whoa! That's my personal best. That's gotta be. Yo. Dude. Oh! 17 pound channel. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a locker. 17 pound channel cat. Come on now. That's what we here for. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that, monster channel cat. Yo, this is a giant. This is a giant. Yes, sir. <laughs> About 12 and a half pounds. If he was, if he had he some, yeah, if he was filled out, yeah, he probably would have, he would have been touching that, that, that 20 mark. Get him in the water. And he's gone. All right, y'all, look at this, man. I just caught the blackest channel cat of all time. Look how dark and beautiful this fish is. Look at that. Dark. Let him go. Nice fish. Got him. Off the night crawler. Jig here, I'm telling you, man. Okay, I can get him over here. Okay, he ran right in this little pool right here. Thank God he didn't go all the way in the rapids. Fighting the life out of me. A super current fish. No, 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 no. Dude, this is a, I told you, I didn't call it fish. This is over 10 pounds. This is about a 12 pound fish. Why y'all, y'all don't understand why I love this stuff, dude. Strength. Look, I see some crawdads now running. Look, ooh, that boy. <laughs> this is a real good fish. Right here. This is exactly what we've been after. We got that hook out now. 10, 11, so I wanna show y'all that before. 10, 11. Okay, he's gonna take off because he's, he's angry. All right. Here we go. Here we go, come on. Come on. Yes, baby. Yes. You got caught up. Absolutely. Sinkers, and you can see right here, clear as day, that that hook is at the bottom corner of his mouth. Come on. 11, 22, see? see? a fish that's a little over 10 pounds right here. All right. 
Look at that. Look at that mouth. Look at that gut. Just look at that man. 14 delicious pounds, boy. Ooh, I can't even hold him. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's get him back. All right, Trey. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.